to my channel where I will be reviewing a sample of issue ones that have come out this week. This week has been crazy. I picked up about 11 issue ones and then a couple of comics that I'm still reading have come out. It's, it's been heavy. It's been heavy and it's really stressed me out because I can only fit about three comics in these 10 minute videos and which perfectly leads to me asking something at the end of this video which I have been debating on for a while. But I'll get back to that later. Right now, let's review the comics. DC's Comics Bombshells. The popular statues have come to life. Not, that's not the story. You know, the figures, the bombshell figures that everyone loved have finally come to life in this comic. That's kind of the same thing. Learn the story behind the alternate reality where the Second World War is fought by female superheroes on the front line and in secret. And it all begins with Batwoman, Supergirl and Wonder Woman. Pros! I love this concept! I saw this was coming out, didn't know anything about it. Got super excited, a little bit too excited. And I have like all the varying covers. I've like loved all the accessories that have come out for this. I love that era. I love the look. I want to look like all of them. Poison Ivy, pin up Poison Ivy was my very first cosplay. So I have a special place in my heart for all of these comics. The art, the art, the art. It's incredible, it's just so good. It's just my favorite style of art. It's just beautiful, it's perfect, it's bold, it's clean, it's stylish. It's just, ugh. They're sexy, they're powerful, they're everything every woman wants to be and they're everything every man wants to be with. They're just amazing. You can't not look at these people and go, I'm in love. And I love the concept of the story as I love the era of World War II and I just, I got excited. Excitement was happening. Cons. Well, as we know, it's a DC comic, so therefore, adverts. Adverts did ruin this slightly. But more upsettingly, the comic just didn't grip me. I don't know whether it's because of their choice in superheroes in the first issue. They're all very clean, goody two-shoes, a little bit two-dimensional, and I usually go for the more darker, grittier, villainy side of people. Uh, so maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just my choice of superheroes, but there was something about this comic that I kept literally putting down to do stuff. Where the other two comics I read this week, couldn't put them down. The era of the super cheesy one-lining superheroes is kind of over. People don't really like it anymore, unless it's in some sort of satire, laugh-at-itself style story. This is Nick. Batwoman especially is full of one-liners, it's very cheesy, it's very light-hearted, which can be some to some people's taste. And I also do have to remember that this is set in the 1940s where the superheroes were like that. So maybe they're just playing up to the era that they're set in, but either way, there's something that's not organic about it, it doesn't flow well, it didn't grip me. Overall, just because I wasn't gripped by the first issue, it hasn't put me off subscribing. There are too many good qualities about this comic that made me not want to miss out. Beauty by Image Comics. There's an STI going round, and if you catch it, you become beautiful. That's right. Any fat that you have, gone. Thinning hair is full of locks again. Everybody wants it and half the population already have it. Until one infected person burns alive for no apparent reason. And now people are more concerned there are more side effects than they were aware of with this disease. Pros! The concept is magical. You know when you watch people make these stupidly simple but unbelievably successful inventions and you go, why didn't I think of that? Anyone could think of that. I look at this with this story and I go, well that's genius. It's simple but incredibly effective. The comic has a vertigo look about it. Now if anyone reads Vertigo comics, you would know what that means. It's kind of dark, it's a bit gritty, it's a little bit sketchy in places and it fits perfectly to this story. I love it. The writing is simply so fluid, so strong, so organic, you can just not put this comic down and it is just begging to be made into a film. Cons. My one little gripe about this comic, and it is minute, but I am thorough. I am thorough with reviewing. Is one scene where the protagonist comes home late from work one night 
and without saying much, his wife climbs on top of him and they make love. She wanted to go for dinner that night. He did point out that he had to go to work, but he would be as quick as possible. And she couldn't sleep without him, so stayed up waiting for him to return. No woman alive rewards her late working husband, who didn't take her out for dinner, with her going on top sex. Maybe there is. Maybe that's why he married her. But I just feel like not only was the scene not really needed, but it was written in to kind of really shoehorn in the fact that she's this super supportive, awesome woman who'll do anything and is dead laid back and allows anything to happen. It was trying to make her two-dimensionally perfect for some reason, and it didn't really work. When all the other characters are so relatable, organic, and true, this one just seemed a little too... I, I don't know. She was just trying too hard for it to be realistic, but maybe there's a reason for it that we just don't know yet. Overall, this comic is mind-blowingly addictive, and by next week, if you haven't read issue one yet, we're gonna have words. That's right. Da, 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 da. It's the pick of the week, American Town, by Boom Studios. I had sugar today. <laughs> After an economic crisis, Americans are now trying to emigrate out of their own country. Those who can't do it legally will try other alternatives. Pros! This story is in the same realms of all the what-if stories I love, and this one is just equally as loved as all the others. I simply loved every second of it. It is incredibly well written. The pace is so quick, you never get bored, but at the same time, it never loses you. One scene made me cry. Cry. I can't even remember the last time a comic actually brought tears to my face. It has happened, but not in a while. It's daring, it's bold, it makes you think. And I praise any creative art type that can do that. Cons. There are no cons. They're just, they're, no. There's none here. You can look for them, but you're not gonna find them. It's an amazing story you have to read, and the reason why there are no cons is the reason it's my pick of the week. Overall, you have to read this. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching once again. I have hoped you enjoyed this week's comics. There's so many for you to choose from, and I hope you've enjoyed my, my top picks. These were my top three, I suppose. But it leads me to what I wanted to talk to you about at the beginning of the video. When a lot of first issues come out, I read the majority of them and then pick the top three. As if I review more, it's kind of hard to fit into the 10 minute time frame that I don't really want to go over. So it got me thinking, I don't want to bombard this channel with comic reviews, but how would you feel if I started another YouTube channel, wouldn't be leaving this one, but an additional one where I would be reviewing more comics? If you want, I could still keep this one as like Lucy's top picks of the week and still do individual comic reviews where they would just be one or two minutes long focusing on that one issue. Therefore, you don't have to watch one 10 minute video just for one comic you may be interested in. I could do a lot more reviews instead of just three comics every week and there would be a lot more options. Does it not really fuss you? Are you not that bothered? Do you like your 10 minute video a week and that's all you need? Should I make an additional channel or should I just keep this one? Let me know! Either way, thank you so much for watching guys. It makes my day. Comment below, like, subscribe and all that jazz. That also makes my day too. See you around! Bye!